Hey everyone, this is Vah, we study Kendra Vidyalaya, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. My name is Rakshanya and this is my friend. And my name is Prajwal. As you know Prajwal, nowadays the schools just have computer lab and science labs. But our school has a different one. It has an environmental lab. And of course we may have 8 sustainable technology components. At last our environmental book has come to life. Come Rakshanya, let's show what we mean. We are presently in the greenhouse. I am having some of our friends here who are associated with our greenhouse project and they would explain to you more about this greenhouse. Hi, I am going to tell you about this greenhouse. In this greenhouse, we have 119 red capsicum plants and you will not believe we have harvested 52 kgs of capsicum. So what are these plants? We have two systems. One is the drip irrigation system and one more the sprinklers. We use the sprinklers to water the plants from above. We can also use the sprinklers to, to, cool, the temp, uh, to cool down the temperature. That is the thermometer there. It tells us the temperature of the air inside the greenhouse and also uh, the amount of moisture in the greenhouse. Now, Lipika will tell you about the drip irrigation. Fine. These are, this is a drip irrigation system. These are the drippers. Instead of taking the one big th tumbler and pouring, pouring, the, uh, pouring all the water uh, to the plants, it's wasted. So we use these drip irrigation to our greenhouse. In that building, there's a switch. If you turn on the switch, you get water. Drop by drop, you get water. So by this, we save water to the drip irrigation. And how does the water come to the greenhouse? It's the rainwater harvesting. In the rainy season, because of the sloping roofs, we get more water and it's filled by the tank. Now, in summer season, the water is supplied to the plants. How come we find more insects in this greenhouse? That is because of this insect net. They prevent insects entering the greenhouse and damaging, damaging the crops. They even provide ventilation. The plastic cover in the top is a multi-layered plastic cover. It is called as polyfilm. It allows the sunlight to come inside the greenhouse and won't allow the rain to come in and flood in the greenhouse. This is known as the shade net. They, they are used for giving more shade to the plants or less shade to the plants. Who took all the capsicums and I put it into a plastic container and I sold it to the all, the all the teachers and I sold the big capsicum for 10 bucks and, and the small capsicum for 5 bucks and I collected all the money from the teachers and I gave it to the office. Rakshanya, do you know where the manure for, for this greenhouse comes from? The manure for this, for this greenhouse is brought from the warmy composting pit and the natural composting pit so that no extra money is used to buy special manure from outside. This is a field trip and, uh, and uh, students have already come for the field trip and let's see what ma'am ma explains. So we plant, you know plant needs manure for their growth and here in our school campus we have the two units to produce manures. One is the vermi composting unit, another one is the natural composting unit and here in vermi composting unit we grow earthworms and they decompose the dead matter and then give us the manure, right? And earthworms here we are grown, growing them in the bar, which is a, having the capacity of 50 to 60 kg. So it has three layers. The bottommost layer is of dry leaves, second layer is of cow down, and the third layer you lay the earthworms, 50 to 60 earthworms you lay and cover them with the dry leaves. Why do we use the dry leaves? It is because it should not be eaten up by the birds and then cover the bath with a gunny bath and sprinkle water over it sprinkle water over it and so that it provides the moisture content for the growth and when the earthworm grows they feed on the dead organic matter and give us the organic manure like this 
Okay, within 60 to 50 to 60 days or 60 to 70 days, you may get the organic manure. Fine. So this is the vermicomposting. It can be used for uh, growing the plants in our greenhouse or otherwise in the garden. Okay, this is regarding the vermicomposting. Now I will show you the natural composting unit. Here we collect the leaves from different parts of the school and put it in this pit, composting pit. Clear? And then they will add cow dung. 150 kg of cow dung is added to this and it is left as it is. It is very slow process, right? And after some 60 to 70 days, you will be able to collect the organic matter because the cow dung has methanogenic bacteria. Methanogenic, it digests the cellulose content that is present in the cow dung. That act as the, the source for the degradation purpose. Is it clear? So the organic material gets degraded and we collect the organic manure from here. Fine. And now, what are the two techniques we have in our school to produce the organic manure? Vermicomposting and natural composting. Fine. What is the difference between the vermicomposting and the natural composting? Yeah. Very good. The rainwater harvesting system creates about 1.29 lakh liters of water every year. How do we know that? Because we keep count. We have been coming out here every day and recording the amount of rainfall that we receive as well as the amount of water collected. The roof is 150 square meters and from there all the rainwater is collected through a series of pipes which comes down to the inlet chamber. From the inlet chamber it moves on to the filtration unit where the leaves, the dirt are filtered out. From there it moves to the uh, sedimentation chamber. Sedimentation chamber also called the silt chamber basically is used for the water, upward movement of water. The, water. the dust particles here basically settle down due to the gravitational pull and the clean water flows into the sump. The sump which is basically 10,400 litres. The water collected here is used in the overhead tank and also used for gardening. The excess water from the rainwater harvesting system comes to the recharge well through different pipes. The water then seeps down into the soil and that helps in recharging the groundwater. Uh, and then, see, it's like uh, 24,000 litres of water is percolated into the ground in a year. Both installed, um, which are kept in every component installed in this campus, and, and these boats are in English and also in the local language that's Canada, so that people, the outsiders who come to visit our school, can also understand this component better. In our school, while water is reused, waste is recycled. Every day is a message in 100 percent in our classes rooms. Then every day we are supported in 100 percent in our workers in the cleaning rooms. That time will be collected and come. Every day is dumped in the, near the clerk rooms in this place. Then the weekly once it's sorted to the plastics and paper, waste papers also in the divided. Then every Tuesday after 10 o'clock the BBM people will come and collect it. this one. There is some amount will be given to it. Actually, we were last week. Okay, let's go and ask that to Bhagyana. Ma'am, can you please know the purpose, the amount earned by our schools the last week by the disposal of waste? See, we are having like this one register we have maintained and uh, plastic will be separately and uh, wipe uh, that uh, waste papers will be on separately. And also we are uh, charged at the rate of rupees 2 rupees for the waste papers and plastics will be at the rate of 3 rupees. Sir. And now last week only 16 rupees we have taken.
Mom, we have taken them uh, to seven out of eight components. See, what we started as a teaching aid for six standard and seven standard children, now it has created a lot of awareness among the whole school. We have a senior eco team and then we have a lot of uh, our teachers uh, getting involved, all the workers getting involved with the waste management, things like that. So I'm very happy to see that science exhibition prize because of this project and we also participated in the science congress which is done by the 11th standard students. Have you uh, taken them to the senior eco team? Not yet, mom. We'll take them. greater green technology, conversion of domestic grey water to green. So here the water from the wash basin comes and gets collected in the reservoir and then the, it comes to the distribution chamber where the water channelizes and goes to the root zone and uh, these are, plants are special plants, they grow in marshy areas, they are called ketile plants. They take up the organic matter and the clean water is collected in the distribution chamber and from this the water can be used Around 150 liter water can be collected and can be used for 150 potted plants. And this is a good thing because instead of extracting fresh water for watering the plants, we can use the water that's already been used for hand wash. I have this very exciting news. I made a model on all these national, all the uh, eco-friendly campus, all the models. It got selected in regional and national science exhibition. And next, the next level is NCRT. So. Interesting. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Next good news is, ma'am, all the 11 standards presented a paper for the National Science Congress on on all these components. So, and I, we hope to keep our environment clean and neat. Yeah, that's good. It's good to hear. I wish you people to be aware of this environment lab and save our environment. Okay? Thank yeah, you, ma'am. Ma so, that this is our environmental lab. Hi, kids. I hope you like what we have done for you in this school. Uh, we have done it with great passion and because we are committed to the environment and to school children and to learning. Be proud of what your, of your school and if you like what you see uh, and if you want this kind of a school for yourself, a zero eco-friendly school, please contact your school teacher, contact your, talk about it to your parents, uh, to your friends and insist that you also want to be a part of an eco-friendly, uh, zero-based disposal school. <laughs>